Am I the only one that can read numbers? Talk about five hours straight. It clearly says four hours and 36 minutes. Wow. Is it that easy to just like brainwash people? Hey guys, if you click the link in my description right now and you buy my $20,000 course, I guarantee you will be able to make $10,000 a week with only two hours of learning from my personal taught lessons that will be taught on a personal Zoom call where I would give you all of my secrets on, become, on, 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 on becoming a multimillionaire. In only 90 days, I promise you, it's, you, you'll be big and strong, you'll be bald, you'll have a gold chain, you, you, you will have a wife, and, 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 and she will be so loyal, and you will be so loyal to her that you wouldn't even know the definition or the word itself of affair. You would be going around saying affair because you don't even know the word because that's how loyal and rich you are. You, you just, I promise you, only $20,000, and that, that, that's a discount. That is a 50% off discount. The original price and value of my lessons are $40,000 because, yes, I do know math, and I do know 50% off of $40,000 is $20,000 and not $20,000. I am smart. I know because I am rich and I am famous and I am popular and I create content and I have an interview with Kobe Bryant right before he died. I, 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 I'm, I'm him. I'm that guy. Here is my portfolio. I made this man a millionaire in only 90 days and now he makes $10,000 a week right here. He's rich now. That can be you. As you can see right here, this man has made $2 million in only a week. $2 million. That is hard work and dedication all learned from my $20,000 course that you can find in the link in the description below. I promise you this is all legit. This is no scam. This is not a multi-level marketing scheme. We, we hear those all the time. I do not like to call this a multi-level multi marketing scheme. I like to call this opportunity. This is no scheme. This is no multi-levels. The only level is level one and level 100. There's nothing in between. You will go to zero to 100 real quick. And that was quoted from Drake in his last interview before he died that I had the opportunity and blessings to film. So go check out my interview with Auburn Drake right before he died and you will learn how to be rich and famous and get all the Bugattis and cigars and, 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 and the sex slaves right here at the link below. Only $20,000. 50% off. $10,000 a week, that is a steal. Now, let's see how much money I make. These fucking idiots. I'm going to take all their money. I'm going to go buy the Bugatti they wish they can get. Jeez, man. They're so fucking cringe. Andrew Tate is a positively inspirational, motivating person. There's nothing inspirational about him. There's not a single thing inspirational about Andrew Tate. Not a single thing. Thank you, Andrew. You are a great example of what a real man is.
Tate is highly influential, but for all the wrong reasons. He was stuttering. He was stuttering in the whole interview. What are you talking about? He mastered the power of articulation. He didn't articulate anything. Bro, the, it's actually that easy to brainwash people. It's that easy. Wow. Holy shit. But this is not hate conferencing. This is the truth. If you would like to learn the truth and get out of the matrix, click the link in my bio now. I promise you, you will be able to escape the matrix and you will be able to make $10,000 an hour. I know I said a week, five minutes ago, but if you pay an extra $5,000 premium, you can make $10,000 an hour. That is the investment of your life. Matter of fact, the people that's in these comments are probably a part of his cult. Now that I think about it, I didn't even think about it. Half of these motherfuckers is probably a part of the cult. <laughs> I'm literally talking to cultists about their cult leader. Of course, they're not going to take kindly to that. Dude, I couldn't even watch one minute of it. You are a brave soul. I wonder if they... I wonder if he has his own cult channel in his um, connected channels. Before you watch this exclusive interview with Andrew Tate. No. He doesn't even have his own cult on his channel because he knows what it is. So at 13 Unless it's on here. No, he doesn't even have his own cult connected to his channels. That's insane, because I'm almost positive he there's a there's a channel for it, right? Yeah, but I bet this is connected to him. Yep, fucking called it, fucking called it, fucking called it. I fucking called it. I fucking called it. I lit. Look, look, a minority woman with her child, a single mother. Single mother is so fucking obvious. Why are people so stupid? If it's that easy to brainwash people, let me brainwash some people by clicking that subscribe button and following. I promise you, you are going to get premium content like desks exploding on me and jizzing on my hand and a, 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 a Valorant without a webcam and Apex crashing my computer the second I open it. Premium content. And a bonus, you will get $10,000 a month from following. If you subscribe now, which will only be $5 once I set it up, you will be able to make $10,000 a month. And you will be able to buy your Bugatti. You will be able to buy your Ferrari. You will be able to buy your Lamborghini. And do you know how to buy a Lamborghini? knowledge and that is what i give i give knowledge and value you will be able to chime in on all the information that this stream will provide and you too can be a rich multi-millionaire in 90 days if you just follow the steps by hitting that follow button and subscribing you can be her you can be them a happy family so happy and loyal, you won't even know the word affair. If, when somebody bring it up to you, you're just going to be like, what's an affair? Because you won't even know the word. That's how loyal and rich you are. Join now. Subscribe. Nah, but honestly, I was easily motivated and reminded that I've gone back to procrastinate it. So I went back again to writing lists of things to do. You don't need to get scammed. To figure that out, go see a fucking therapist. They teach you the same shit. They teach you these exact same things in therapy and mental health facilities. Maybe you're not a procrastinator. Maybe you're just fucking depressed. 
So go get some fucking therapy. Easy. They teach you that. And I guarantee you, you it, it probably it might be a little more expensive. I, I won't lie. I will not lie about that. But you know what you can't use with Andrew Tate? Insurance. You can use insurance to dampen that price and actually get real value and knowledge. You are not a procrastinator. You are not a multitasker. You are just depressed and lonely, and you just need friends. I know because I was in that same position, and I learned the hard way that you do not need all that bullshit. And I also agreed that therapy and uh, uh, all that other shit is just bullshit as well, but it all comes down to you. You have to be able to know the tool, to know the tools, not the value, but the tools and the constant uh, 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 um, 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 what's the, uh, reinforcement and the constant reinforcement of writing lists and, and not fucking procrastinating. It's not hard. It's not hard. I mean, it is hard, but like, it's not hard. It's way harder to Spend your life savings on a fucking sex trafficker and and, 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 and and be in a worse place that you was before. But you don't know that because you're brainwashed into thinking you're in a much better place. All the people that went to Andrew's Tate house for $5,000 to learn stuff, they only left more broke and even bloody because he forced them to fight each other or something like that. How does that get you money? How does that help anything? Going to the gym is the only thing that Andrew Tate has preached as actually valid. Go to the gym, make lists, and have a routine. And I promise you, you will not be poor and you will not be sad if you continue the routine. Literally, it's on He has it on the fucking banner, bro. It cannot get this obvious. First of all, he doesn't even have it. He has all his businesses connected. He has all of his businesses connected onto one like central channel hub. But he doesn't connect this channel. But this channel connects to the rest of his stuff. That is so fucking insane. Look, all single, probably not single, but all minority women who probably were all single moms at one point that, uh, bro, they, they have, oh my God, bro. They have a newsletter called PHP Ladies Newsletter. It, it doesn't get this fucking obvious. It doesn't get this obvious. He 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 has it written in plain sight. This is insane. I wonder if those people that I commented to is just like watching my stream now. If they a few of them probably clicked on my account. Probably not, probably did. Oh wait, actually, oh no. One person did click on my fucking page. I'm dead. One person clicked on my page and saw I was live and saw that I am commenting this exact shit. Good. Good, motherfucker. Keep watching so you know. Keep watching so you fucking know. This is literally the most obvious shit ever. And nobody talks about it. Nobody talks about this because he doesn't have it connected to his channels. He refuses to connect this to his main channel hub. Whereas this is connecting everybody else to his main channel hubs. That is insane. And he uses his his money to uh, get an interview with Kobe Bryant. and, uh, And it was his last interview. And uh, right before he died, and he markets it that way. He said, this is Kobe Bryant's interview right before he died. This is why I'm so amazing, because I interviewed Kobe Bryant right before his very unfortunate accident. He markets it exactly like that. 
And I am not joking. I am not even joking. Like, bruh. You're doing more good for humanity. He's taking people's money. How is that beauty? How is that doing good for humanity? He's taking people's money. Look, the allegations and the, the, the human trafficking shit aside, I don't really give a fuck if it's true or it's not true. You don't have to be a fucking rocket scientist to see how scummy they are. And I'm saying that because people still watch Andrew Tate look like a complete idiot and they'd be like, oh, why are you attacking Tate? Why are you hurting Tate? No, don't don't say that to Tate. He's just, people are just saying the truth, the real truth, <laughs> not the $10,000 buy my course truth, the real truth. That is insanity, bro. Like he actually has a thing called PHP Ladies Newsletter. This is, it's it's a literal marketing uh, strategy to show that the these these are women of of color. These are all women of color. Sandra Vera. Kayleen Gomez, Naveen Busi, Tori Hansberry. These are all women of color. Mom Entrepreneur is right there. It's right there. 4K in 4K in 4K literally it's in 4K receipts the receipts are there <laughs> you <laughs> bruh this is the biggest bruh moment ever this is actually the biggest bruh moment ever They even tricked my boy Kevin. They got Kevin Hart. They tricked Kevin Hart, my boy. <laughs> they tricked him. <laughs> they tricked my boy Kevin. <laughs> Not my boy Kevin. Is this actually sponsored by Transformers? 
Because if not, they literally just took their fucking logo and just said, hey, this is ours. That's insane. That's insane. What? This can't be real. Speaking of Omega, did, did, is that clip of Sneeko viral yet? Of him like literally rising up a 13 year old? And like the, the girls are like clearly 13? Like there's no fucking unless you're Valkyrie there's no goddamn adult that looks like that I'm I'm gonna pull this up real quick and then I'll play Minecraft I promise I'm gonna play Minecraft I said I was gonna play Minecraft I'm going to because I don't I, I I have to complete my challenge if I don't die then I uh I won't have to do a pool party <laughs> I don't know who I'm gonna do a pool party with with zero friends Maybe I'll just go on the street and just ask people. That'd be hilarious. That'd be a funny video, still. Though. That'd be good content. Hey, I lost a Minecraft bet. Uh, do you want to play? Uh, do you, do you do 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 you do you want to get on stream and have a pool party? Sneeko Riz Miners. All right, so Sneeko is an interesting character. Honestly, his progression as a content creator from being 14 and making philosophical ass, deep ass videos all the way on up to his age now. And just, like, I don't even know what he does anymore. What is it? He's a Muslim now and he talks about Allah and he's in like the Red Pill community quite often, sometimes hosts the Pressure Fit podcast. And he's kind of best friends with Destiny. Who could have seen that coming? And you know, he's just like, he's a young man. So he's growing, he's learning, he's changing, whether you like him or not. Just besides the. Aren't friends. y'all like the same age, my guy? Now, when I first heard about this story, and shout out to my Batman from the EDP wants to protect kids. <laughs> That's the most hilarious fucking title I've ever seen. EDP wants to protect kids now. What? Did he actually say that? TV, don't worry. I don't click the button. Why are you saying my name at the beginning of every comment? That's kind of weird. Okay, meditate, take some shrooms, and you will not ever have to worry about wanting a sports car. Trust me, if you get a good ego death in you, you're not going to want to worry about a sports car. I promise you. I promise you. Just take some shrooms.
This is wise words from Kiwi. I am only 22 and I am the wisest red pillar alive. You only want a sports car because of the media you're being fed, not because you truly want it. I was the same. If you want to get to that place, rather than envision a sports car, envision being in the position to buy a sports car, but choosing not to. That's discipline. I am fucking wise today. I may be a dumbass, but I am fucking wise. I I might have had all F's in my junior year of high school, including Jim, but God damn it, I am the wisest motherfucker I know. This is the same thing that I told a coworker not too long ago. Stop wanting a car because that wanting a car is just spending money, but you want money to get a car. That's a paradox. That's that's already a paradox. You don't you you, you if you if you if you work to just to want a sports car, then you're only going to work until you get the the exact dollar amount of a sports car, and then you're just going to spend all your money on a sports car, and then you're just going to be broke again. You have to envision the position of being able to buy a sports car, not just the sports car. That's the problem. If you envision of wanting a sports car, then you're not going to ever learn any discipline or knowledge to get to that point. You're only going to just, what I say earlier, you're either a dreamer or a visionary. Right now, you're dreaming. You're only dreaming right now. If you envision the position of getting a sports car then you could get to that place because then you're actually going to be curious about, hey, what am I going to do to get to that place where I could just walk into a dealership, see a Lamborghini, and be like, nah, I don't want it. Because you know what's cooler than a sports car? A fucking yacht. Do you know what's cooler than a yacht? A fucking private jet. Why not just, why, why not shoot for that? Why a sports car? You could get a sports car for $20,000. I have a sports car. It's considered muscle car, but I have a sports car. It's sitting in my fucking driveway, and I'm not putting any money into it to fix it because it is an expense. It is an expense to maintain a sports car. Sports or muscle, however you want to see it. It's That's why I'm not working on it because it is an expense. I'd rather be at a place where I can just get that bitch towed away and get all the adjustments I need for it without having to worry about it, not working to get, not working just to uh, get it moving again.
I'm only I'm only 22. I'm I'm only 22, and I would like to say that I am the Zoomer Gandhi. I am the Zoomer Gandhi. I am the wisest man in the Zoomer generation. I am wise. I am not intelligent, but wise. <sighs> Come on now. Kiwi can actually be wise. I promise you. Kiwi is not a dumbass. He knows his shit. Because he lived through it. He lived through 22 years of shit. So he, he, he is the wise man. Look, look. You could tell how much shit I lived through. Look at, look at that man. Look at that motherfucker. That is, the, that is the guy that I'm commenting right now. The one that wanted the Gucci belt. The one that wanted the Timberlands. So much so that it's a fake belt. So much so. I will expose myself. This is a fake Gucci belt. 100% fake. And guess what? Everybody at my school believed it anyway. They believed it was real. Every single, even the rich kids took it off of my waist and examined it. And was like, hey, this is real. Come on. It's just, it's, it's just like, oh God, what's the word? It's, 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 oh, I can't even think of the word right now. It's, it's just a mindset. It's, yeah, it's just a mindset. I was able to trick a group of rich kids that I too was a rich kid. And they never fucking found out. Ever. Ever. And do you know where one of those rich kids are now? Dead. Rest in peace his soul. I actually will miss him because although he was kind of an asshole in middle school, he is still a good kid. He was definitely a good person. He wasn't bad. He was just around uh, bad influences, bad making bad decisions. Uh, uh, he had a little bit of an ego because, yes, he was a rich kid. But uh, he did uh, have a little more human energy. He did seem a little more human uh, after high school. I don't know if it's because he started smoking weed, but he did seem a little more human. So God rest his soul. But that's what happened when you have a mindset like that. You will be dead in the ground, either in the ground or on the streets. So cha change your mindset and change your influences and environment before you start dreaming. So then you can be a visionary. You want to be a visionary, not a dreamer. And I don't know if this guy's like, uh, like, uh, still a minor. I would assume he's a minor. I would assume he's a minor. Yeah, he's playing Fortnite, and he has a video called Tesco Tors Torsion, Torsten. Uh, Fortnite Brut moment. He is literally an incel making videos on gaming. They, these are the people that follow Andrew Tate. Change your mindset. If you're just going to be playing video games, then yeah, you're not going to get to that place, position. You're not going to get the real Miata. You're just going to be too busy driving a Miata on fucking GTA. Fix your mindset. You have to fix your mindset. Look at that guy on the left of your of my of the screen of the screen. Look at the guy on the left of the screen. He was a material driven child. He spent five hundred dollars on shoes. And do you know what those shoes look like right now? I'm gonna try to find them. Limited edition LeBrons. Let me find them.
These are what they look like now. Look at that. Look, it, 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 there's a tear. Let it focus. Let it focus. There you go. It's torn up at the bottom. Water seeps in to the soles. It's torn up right here. It's muddy all on the reflective part. It's 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 piss yellow on the soles. And there's even rocks falling out of them onto my desk right now. Literally. The the insides are not even attached. And th this is a representation of your life if you keep chasing materialistic things. Dude, look, look, right here. It's a... The, the fucking shoe is already gone, bro. It's scraped. It's scraped. These were $500. Maybe. Torn up. That is your life if you keep chasing materialistic things. That is your life. You would end up torn up and broken just like that shoe. Do you know what that shoe looks like uh, when I first got them? LeBron Elite 11 Superhero. Because that is the name of the of the shoe. And I might rebuy these again just to keep. Yeah, $400. The, the last sale was $400. Uh, they're probably 300 in the, uh, if they're a lower size. Okay. The price I got these for was about 450 to $500, uh, in my size, of course. And the price that they're at now for that same size is $1,300 and 22 or 13, uh, or 13, oh my God, $1,322. These shoes in my hand are worth thirteen thousand or thirteen hundred and twenty-two dollars now. These are worth that much. They more than doubled in price since I got them. More than doubled. If I just if I wasn't materialistic and I got them for a entrepreneur uh, entrepreneurship mindset, I could have resold these for triple the price, almost quadruple. I think actually. Almost quadruple the price if I didn't have a materialistic mindset. Look how they look. These were icy blue. Super icy. These were so reflective, they fucking reflected off of the sidewalk. And I am not joking. That is not a joke. I, I think I still have the picture somewhere. I think I do. And they were glowing in the sun. Literally. The red was so bright, it was glowing, and it's not even made out of glowing material like the soles and the, uh, and, and, the, and, the, and this part, the reflective part. That's how fresh they were, and I ruined them because I only had them to look fresh. If I had a material, or if I had an entrepreneurship mindset at the time, and it was the exact same time I, I got these, the same time around the same time this picture was taken. Two years of my birthday money gone to these shoes that are now worth quadruple what what I paid, and they're just torn up, and they're literally in the back of my closet, never to be worn again. Guys, that's a materialistic mindset. If you are a visionary, you would save these up for the amount of time that it's been since I bought these. And you would have got $1,200 more than what you paid for them. That's a materialistic mindset. That is a materialistic mindset. You do not want to have that or uh, entrepreneurship mindset. You do not want to have that materialistic mindset when you're just wearing them to look good and you fuck them up. And now they ain't worth a goddamn dime. That is how your life will be if you chase a sports car rather than chasing the position to buy a sports car. I need to become a fucking motivational speaker. I need to become the Andrew Tate because Andrew Tate is teaching bullshit compared to what I'm saying. I am spitting actual facts. 
compared to what this motherfucker is saying. I am spinning actual facts. Somebody just clip me up, put me in TikToks and shit like Andrew Tate, and and I guarantee you I can actually change the next generation of men. I can guarantee you that. You do not want to look like you, you don't want to look like this. You want to look like this right here. This is what you want to look like. You do not want to look like this. You want to look like this. What else do I have that I fucking destroyed that was super expensive? I'm sure. Oh, here is a. Well, technically, I didn't destroy them. Um, 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 my ex did, but um, still. Well, and I got that for more of a memorial value as well. So it, it it contains way more value than money can buy. But the jacket is destroyed. The ash, the yellow astronaut jacket I wear at the beginning of every stream, uh, that Juice War has. Uh, I that it's destroyed. It's completely destroyed. That's the materialistic mindset right there. The 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 the, the sports car I already have that I don't need to work towards another one for, destroyed. That was the young dumb and broke me. And that what caused me to get to the position where I'm at now where I'm streaming eight hours a day. Lonely as fuck. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. The shit Andrew teach is fucking kindergarten compared to what I just said. He just says the most basic shit ever and doesn't even give any perspective of life. He's only teaching about how he gets a lot of bitches and how he has a Bugatti and now he has a cigar. In reality, he's not smart at all. Neither of these guys are smart. You heard how this man was just speaking. He's he's he speaks like a kindergartner. And I don't want to hear none. Oh, it's because he uh Iranian. Uh he's a foreigner. He can't speak. This nigga has been around since the 80s. He has been in this country since the uh, maybe the 90s. Either the 80s or the 90s. He can speak English, motherfucker. He can speak English. I know his story because I f- I was involuntarily fed his story through the cult he was around for the stock market crash he was already making money in the stock uh, at the world trade center uh uh uh, 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 uh back in like tw- 2001 and uh, in 2008 when uh with the, with the housing market crash i know his story because i was force fed his story that's literally part of the initiation you have to listen to his story bro that's a cult and you don't get anything out of it not a single damn thing get your priorities straight don't get the sports car get to the position of the sports car with that being said after my very adult and mature and motivational speech let's get into some minecraft (laughs) Oh my god. Could you imagine a fucking Minecrafter speaking spitting more facts than Andrew Tate? The red pillars would have never imagined. Never. Never. Yes, you will stop at the point. What type of dumb shit is that? That is the most brain dead comment ever. Oh, I'm losing brain cells. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my. The government has zero followers, first of all. I don't think anybody follows the government. We're forced to. They're, 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 they're not a cult. They're oppressors. No, I, 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 I thought about it. I've been thinking about it for years. Trust me. I haven't been thinking about it for fucking 30 seconds like you. 
the government is not you you could probably compare it to a cult 100 percent, but that the cult does not have their grasp on my testes so hard that I believe everything they say and I follow everything they want me to do. No. The government is not a cult. They're oppressors. We we were just born, some people can be born into a cult, of course, under their power where they can force anything they want. I don't got to force myself to watch Andrew Tate. I'm doing it for content. I'm doing it for content. That is the most brain dead comment ever. That is so fucking brain dead, bro. That is so fucking brain dead. It's insane. And it's not even if. He is literally a cult leader. He is a financial cult leader. Have you not heard of Scientology? Scientology. Have you not heard of... What was the other cult? It was another cult. Um, 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 um. What was it called? Key people. Was it key people? No. Nancy Salzman. That's a that's that's a familiar name. That's a familiar name. NX yeah, 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 yep. Yeah. NXIVM. I know that one for sure. NXIVM. This is a cult. This is a cult. Textbook definition of a cult. They do the exact same thing that PBD do, does. Except they, I think they targeted celebrities just like Scientology. But PBD target minority single mothers. So no. It's not a if. He is a cult leader. He is literally a cult leader. There's not no ifs or buts or any of that. He's a cult leader. Oh my God. Oh my God. These motherfuckers need to fucking learn some shit before they speak. He's a very fucked up guy too. What's that Korean one called? What's that? Cor it was a Netflix documentary. When 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 they followed the inter uh, the, the the person they were interviewing all the way to the airport, and threatened her family. Five oceans. It was five oceans, I'm pretty sure. It was five oceans. That ended in a mass suicide, like most of them does. I would not be surprised if PBD go down under, which he probably won't, he would just go ahead and do a fucking mass suicide. The, 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 the cult, at, uh, uh, it probably wasn't Five Oceans if they're dead. Um, maybe Jesus Morningstar. It was either Jesus Morningstar or the Baby Garden. Yeah, this is the newer one. JMS, JMS. It's definitely, yeah, it was definitely uh, Jesus Morning. JMS, I know that one. I remember it now. I remember it now. JMS, they followed the girl, I think, to a different country 
to make sure she did not get interviewed. And then they threaten her family. That is a cult. They target desperate people and then they target their families. That is cult activity. The government just oppresses people. And we have no choice but to follow them because we would get put in jail. That's called society. <laughs> that is called society, not cult activity. I'm going I'm to I'm read this guy back because I feel like he actually does need help. He, he actually he actually sounds like he does need and want the help. The other guy is just brain dead for what he said. And I was just very piddled about that. I was very piddled. I definitely just got my panties in a bunch for that one. Sorry for the long comment. Well, yes, I get that, but I'm never stopping at a point, although that's how I think I used to think, but I learned from those people I watch that once you stop, you're a dead man because you're just going to, you're just going to be going downhill until you're dead, whereas if you're still going, you're unstoppable and you achieve feats you never thought you could. Yes, if you envision the position of those feats, you're only envisioning the car. You're not envisioning the position. You're envisioning the car. And for the car thing, well, yes, they can feed me the desire for cars easily. But believe it or not, I used to hate cars. You, you just, you literally just regurgitated what I said. You used to hate cars, and now you're talking about wanting a car. It's because of the media you're being force-fed. Are you that brain dead? I used to hate cars, and at a point, I started learning more and more, and since I have a regular cheap city bike, I sometimes just want to drive fast, and the amount of joy I got while driving, and just hearing the wind noise so loud, the engine revving, and feeling like it's going to break, and since it's not meant to be driven so fast, it felt so dangerous. Yes, sports cars are meant to be driven fast, by the way. Just letting you know. They are designed to be driven fast. <laughs> like, that is why they're called a sports car because they are replicated from sport uh, cars that are used in sports like NASCAR. But for street say or but for street regulations of course. The engine revving and feeling like it's going to break and since it's not meant to be driven so fast, it felt so dangerous. Yeah, I was pushing it because going fast Oh, I think he's talking about his own car. That's not a sports car. It was the most joyful thing I've ever experienced in my life. So I've been dying for a fast car since then because it's a bit safer than a fast motorcycle. I'll still get one, though. Uh, a, no, they're not safer than a motorcycle. They're about, they're about similar in, in, in terms of collisions. Because if you have, for example, a Mustang, that shit is going to slide. That shit is going to slide. Now, the mortality rate, you do have a higher chance of dying on a motorcycle. But in terms of crashing, I would say they're about almost equal. Almost equal. And if you just want to drive fast, then get a fast car. You do not need an expensive sports car to drive fast. You can still get a V8 car for 10K. It's not hard. I guarantee you, if you get a job, and if you're in America, if you get a job that pays 15 to about... Seven, they're, they're like 17 to 20 now. 
And if you save that shit up and uh, maybe you still live with your parents, uh, and you don't have to pay bills and anything extra like that, if you save up every penny, you can get a fucking V8 engine car in like maybe a year. May, may, maybe a year, maybe six months even. Because then those checks bi-weekly would be around 1200 to 1300 uh, Maybe more now with the uh, wage, but maybe less because with the taxes. Uh, 10 weeks minimum if you save every penny. My V8 car that goes very fast uh, cost it 10000 9,000 even, 9,500 I think. You don't have to work that hard or that long to get a fast car. You don't. I have one and I'm dead broke. I am dead broke. I have no money. If I open my bank account right now, it's going to say at least five bucks. Maybe in the negatives because I didn't pay my gym membership. That I have to freeze. Le yep, like I said, I am in the negative and I saw <laughs> I am in the negative and I still have a V8 car. Come on, bro. Come on. You're you will be fine, I promise you. Now, what the fuck did I pay for that put me in the negative? Oh, shit. I have a subscription or something? <gasps> oh. I have a subscription on something. That's why. Which is a perfect time to uh, talk about our sponsor today. Uh, Rocket Money. If you have a bunch of subscriptions that you don't. Not, this is not sponsored by Rocket Money. I don't have any affiliation with them. But that would have been useful right now. Really would have been useful. But again, you're still focused on the car. You're not focused on the position to buy a car. You have to be focused on the position to buy a car. Trust me. I have a car, a V8 fast car that you are looking for. You don't need to be rich or any, anything special like that. It goes just as fast. And I got it from a regular Amazon job. You used to hate cars, but now you love them either because of uh, the feeling of driving fast or the media you uh, consumed maybe a bit 